Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Davey Killian and I am sharing with you my third trimester recap and update. It's kind of strange to be filming this because I am about 37 and a half weeks pregnant right now. Um, and when this goes up, I'll probably be about 38 and a half, hopefully making it that long. But I just wanted to share with you what has been working well, what I've still been doing, um, how I've been feeling, all those things, because if you're a pregnant mama like me, I would love to give you just some tips and tricks of what I've been doing, things that I've had um, going on so that maybe they're helpful for you. Anyways, um, don't forget to like this video if you enjoy these as well as subscribe if you're new. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking. So I'm gonna jump right in. All right, so third trimester is a little more challenging than second in that um, you get a little bit more tired again. Not like first trimester, I was exhausted first trimester. So I was definitely not needing naps every day. I continued to drink my red raspberry leaf tea and I have upped it now in the last four weeks uh, before I'm at 40 weeks. So at about 36 weeks, I started drinking two cups a day of that to help ease and make birth and labor a little easier. I started eating dates pretty daily as well to help with labor as well. Um, just all these little tricks and things that you can do to help ease your labor and I'm having a natural unmedicated birth, um, a water birth actually, so I'm really excited about that. But even if you're planning on getting an epidural, I would definitely recommend doing these things as well. Um, I have not struggled with breathing a lot. I know a lot of people in third trimester, they start to get winded and raspy. But I'm a music teacher, so I'm singing all the time. And I even carry extremely high. Like, she just sits up still really high. She hasn't dropped much on me at all. But I can, I still feel like I can talk for long periods of time and not get extremely out of breath. Of course, like, if I continue to talk here for 10 minutes, I'm going to be a little bit winded. But going up and down steps, I can still sing. That's, that doesn't bother me much. So I praise the Lord for that, that being a music teacher has helped. Um, a few more things I've noticed. She moves all the time in me. I know they sit, say at about 36 weeks, you feel more of flutters and things. My baby, she's just going all over the place and definitely moving a lot, which is so awesome and fun to feel. See, or even right now, I don't know, sometimes you maybe, if you watch closely, you might see a little foot or something. Um, so that's just kind of fun. Also, one thing I had an issue with was my baby was sunny side up for a while or OP so that means like if this is my pelvis her head and her eyeballs were facing out and they prefer to have the back of the head facing out of the belly so that it's easier going down the birth canal really and she I believe has flipped my last appointment at 37 weeks they said she was perfectly face down how she's supposed to be. So I was excited about that because they just said if she is sunny side up, it's just a lot harder labor for the mama. And I am very grateful that she has decided to flip or spin. Um, I've been keeping up on a lot of stretches as well to help with easing my labor. Things like sitting on my medicine ball, um, doing squats, uh, just stretching out that area. I don't want to stretch it so far like my legs split or anything that it hurts But just keeping up on that doing pelvic rocks things like that, but just really help out with um, Opening up because God made us do that and I'm just trying to help it out a little bit I've also not had any stretch mark issues. I still use my belly buttercream that I made handmade from beginning of first trimester till now. I have no stretch marks showing up anywhere, so I am very grateful. I hope after birth they don't show up either. But that cream that I made has been a lifesaver for that. I just put it on very um, faithfully every night, and that seems to be helping with that as well. I have had some swelling in my legs a little bit, so I do wear compression socks and um, 
try to keep the swelling down. And I've always had veins on my legs, not varicose, just the spider veins, and they have intensified here in the last trimester as well. And my midwife said that she thinks they'll go away, so I'm just hoping they do after labor, but we'll see, you know? Everything can change and be different than what you expect. I've also been making sure I eat regularly. I notice I do get hungrier more often. I have not gained much weight in this pregnancy, about 25 pounds, and I'm, like I said, about 37 and a half weeks pregnant right now. So not a whole lot, and everybody gains so much differently. As long as you're eating healthy and still being a little active, I think that is what you need for a healthy baby and a healthy mama. We did take a Bradley Method birthing class, my husband and I, and we really enjoyed that here in this third trimester. It gives my husband just a sense of power and um, assistance in the birthing process as well. But yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Um, I am going to do a what's in my hospital bag video as well that's more budget friendly because I think that's important. Uh, I don't think you need to go out and buy a ton of brand new stuff to go give birth in. That's just not something that I think you need. So stay tuned for that coming up and hopefully I don't have a little baby before these get up as well. But uh, comment below some things that have been um, challenging for you if you're pregnant in your third trimester or that things you've been doing to help ease your birth and it'd be kind of fun to know if you're pregnant what type of birth you're gonna do with a water birth and in-home birth um, are you going to be medicated I just it'd be kind of fun to read and I'd like to know so anyways don't forget thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll do a little uh, belly update. I definitely have grown a lot, I feel, I feel like. And my husband even said so in the last few days. So there it is. I do feel like I've dropped because I definitely carry very, very high. Um, so yep, yeah, there's that. My lovely belly shot. So anyways, have a great and wonderful day. And I will talk with you in the next one. Bye.